This is the face of genuine shock. Okay, so Charlie's Angels. I'm going to admit, I went into this movie with the lowest of low expectations. I wasn't expecting anything from it. It basically looked from the trailers like it was a glorified music video, with most of the attention shining on Kristen Stewart, who actually looked like she was having a blast. But other than that, it just, it didn't look like it was going to be my cup of tea. And in this remake of Charlie's Angels, we follow this group of female spies who are trying to uh, get a hold of this piece of technology that can basically provide clean energy for this company. But as with most movies like this, a great piece of technology can also be weaponized and turned into a bad piece of technology. So it's up to the Angels, along with a newcomer who is played here by Naomi Scott, to try to get a hold of this device so that it doesn't get into the wrong hands and the world can remain safe. Now, I will admit that the uh, Charlie's Angels movies from like the early 2000s with uh, like Drew Barrymore, Cameron Diaz, and Lucy Liu, they're guilty pleasures, okay? They're not great movies, but they're also so like bad that they're good. So they're kind of like those like guilty pleasures, like Lara Croft, like with, you know, with Angelina Jolie, like you know it's a bad movie, but also so you can't stop looking at it. It's like a beautiful car wreck. But anyway, I was kind of hoping I could just have some sort of fun with this new Charlie's Angels reboot. Uh, and we got Elizabeth Banks directing this one, also writing it, uh, and also co-starring in it. And I have to say, I'm genuinely shocked that this is a really fun movie. Like I said, lowest of low expectations going into this one, but I had a blast with this movie. I, this is easily the biggest pleasant surprise of 2019, and I could say that with complete ease. This is a movie that knows exactly what it wants to be. It embraces that fully. It doesn't take itself too seriously. There's some fun twists and fun turns. There's some fun humor in there. There's actually some pretty great action sequences directed by Banks, surprisingly. And I have to say that this main cast, this, this new trio of angels, is actually quite good. We've got a uh, Kristen Stewart. We've got Ni uh, Naomi Scott, who was just recently in Aladdin as Jasmine, so she's kind of, you know, thrusting herself onto the scene. Uh, we also got Ella Belinska, I think that's her name, who rounds out our trio. And these three are great together. They have great, easygoing chemistry. They work well with one another. They're clearly all having a blast playing these characters and being in this movie, which helps kind of add to the fun of it all. And they're really badass in the action sequences as well. I mean, they, they're clearly, like I said, having a really good time, and they're not afraid to be kick-ass, and they just kind of dominate the screen. I was really impressed with them. You got Elizabeth Banks kind of channeling her inner Bosley. You got Patrick Stewart. You got a pretty damn good cast in this one, and none of them really disappoint. And Elizabeth Banks kind of had something to prove as a director, because I felt like she didn't do a great job with Pitch Perfect 2, but I was definitely curious to see how she was going to handle the action in this movie and also balance that out with the humor that's going to be in this film. And I thought she did a great job kind of just walking that line finally where she delivers some really nicely staged and shot action sequences that aren't cut to shit too much. You actually see some pretty great choreography. There's some really fun action sequences where there's some humor thrown in there for good measure. I, and she's definitely a lot more confident behind the camera this time around. And I think she feels more at home with a story like this and a world like this. And I definitely think she was suited for this movie. And I think she does a great job, actually. And like I said before, this is a story we've definitely seen so many times before. There's like a MacGuffin that we need to kind of chase after because in the wrong hands it become this weapon that blah, 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 world ends. You know, you know, you know how it goes. But it's usually just kind of like the journey along the way as as long as that's fun, then, you know, it's an effective action comedy. And in this case, the journey is really fun. You gotta get to know these angels a little bit more. They have their own little separate backstories. You get little tidbits here and there that are nice to kind of fill in the gaps there to kind of develop them a little bit more. And like I said before, there actually are some genuinely good twists and turns. The movie kind of takes a left and then it takes a right, and you're kind of not sure where it's gonna go or where it's gonna land. And that kind of keeps things exciting, keeps things fresh, especially when, you know, the overall storyline, like I said, is something we've seen like a million times before. I mean, really the only problem I have with this movie is that it kind of gets off to a little bit of a bumpy start where it's kind of trying to find its tone, find its rhythm, kind of get uh, into the flow of the characters and the world that they, they inhabit. It, it's definitely a little bit rocky out of the gate, a little bit kind of slow out of the gate. But I think once the movie actually finds its footing, it's kind of just smooth sailing from there and the pacing and the humor and the action really kind of take hold and then it becomes just a blast. So in the end, this Charlie's Angels reboot, it's a really fun time. It's shockingly good. It's a lot of fun. It's got some great performances from our leads. It's really proving that Kristen Stewart is a 
action comedy star that we never even knew about. She's fantastic in this movie, and I want to see her in more roles like this. She is incredible in this movie. You can't take your eyes off of her. So in the end, I'm going to be giving Charlie's Angels, I'm going to be giving this movie a B. It is just a fun time at the movies. It is a surprisingly really uh, enjoyable action comedy, and if there is a sequel, if it makes enough money, I would gladly see it. As, as long as this original cast is back, Banks is, is, you know, back behind the camera, I think it could be a, a fun, you know, little trilogy, maybe, if, uh, if it makes enough money, but, you know, time shall tell if this is gonna go anywhere. But if you are not interested in this movie at all, or maybe you were on the fence, give it a shot. I mean, I went, like I said, I went in with really low expectations, and I came out with a smile on my face having had a really great time, so, Give this one the benefit of the doubt and actually see if you like it because it's actually a great time at the movies. And I think if you're looking for some fun this time of year, go for it. Charlie's Angels, I think, will fit the bill. So that is my review of Charlie's Angels. I really hope you take it into consideration. If you consider seeing this film or not, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews, TV reviews, more YouTube reviewer interviews. Do not think you will... Ugh, every time I, ch I choke on that one. Every single time. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more movie... <laughs> I'm just not going to get through this. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews, TV reviews, more YouTube reviewer. I can't, I can't, I'm just, I'm just laughing now. Fuck. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews, TV reviews, more YouTube reviewer interviews. You will not regret it. And until next time, everybody, I'm Tom Chattelbash, YouTube's most reliable movie critic.